Welcome watchers of Illusion to my Castle of Confusion and we start a fresh week with an Amiga game. And it's the New Zealand story and it's an arcade classic, ladies and gentlemen, yes it is. Um, that's one thing the Amiga did fairly well was arcade conversions, which is good, really, because you've got all the colours, you've got quite a lot of animation frames and all that kind of jazz as well, which is good, good stuff. So this is one of the most arcade perfect home conversions. I mean, the Spectrum did an absolutely roaring job on it. The C64, not quite so much. I mean, I'm saying the C64 game was bad, but the Kiwi anime, the Kiwi graphic was a bit poo. This is actually arcade perfect as it goes. And I like it. I like it a lot. New Zealand Story, Bubble Bubble. These were the games of the era that we all grew up with and we love. And there's a reason for that. And look, the uh, the warp thing isn't there. Boo, they took it out. They took it out. Why did they do that? Anyway. New Zealand story sees you in the role of Tiki the Kiwi, rescuing your little friends who've been kidnapped by a hungry walrus. Yes, indeed. So your job is to go and rescue said friends, and they're all at the end of levels, blah, 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 which is all good fun. And how cute is this, though? Really, ladies and gentlemen, it is cute as a button. Uh, now, this is... But well, I tried to get it to run on an A1200. Could I get it to run? No, it kept throwing out errors. So we had to backtrack to the 500 and it runs perfectly, which is nice. So you can see here that everything in the arcade is included. The, uh, oh, I nearly said pigs in blankets. And see, I'm still in Christmas mode. Um, the pigs on the uh, balloons and all that jazz, they're still intact. Uh, the spiky cat looking things, all the enemies are intact, all the backgrounds are there. It's just a beautiful looking game and it's pretty much arcade spot on, which is what we like. We like this, uh, especially back in the day. I mean, you could probably pick out faults with it these days, but why do that when the game we're looking at was, you know, produced back in the day? 1989, is that? Or 85? Something like that, anyway. But uh, I remember very clearly uh, playing New Zealand Story on the arcade. Now, back then, I was very naive and thought that every game you saw on the arcade was uh, transferred to the, uh, the home systems. So you can imagine my delight uh, when I went into the uh, WH Smiths. Yes, they used to do games in WH Smiths. Um, and there it was in its nice blue packaging. New Zealand story for the ZX Spectrum, and I was absolutely blown away. I think it was a, I think it was a 9.99 game actually. It wasn't a budget title. It was a main. It was a big one. It was a big release. Yes. So um, I, I, I managed to persuade my my dear mother and father to buy that for me. Yes. Or well, mum and dad, as as otherwise known, Mater and Peter. No, we don't talk like that. Um, but uh, yeah, so we managed to get that for my ZX Spectrum, and I was absolutely pleased as punch with it because it was as arcade perfect as I could remember playing it in the arcade. Roll on a few years and I got the Amiga and then the Amiga, we played this on the Amiga and my god, did I have fun with it? Yes I did. And I was really pleased because literally everything was just so smooth, silky scrolling, all of that kind of jazz and um, it's, it's an absolutely beautiful little game. I love it. And Ocean did a pretty good job actually of the conversion so I'm quite happy with that. Um, so, let's look at it from a graphical perspective. Well, do you know what? It's just, it is just the arcade machine in a disc. I think it was, yeah, it was a one disc game. So it's pretty impressive, really, what you could squeeze onto a disc back then. Um, and they did a very good job of squeezing said game onto said one disc. And uh, very good, oh, these guys throw arrows at your bottom. It's not very nice. Anyway, um, so the idea is to get from, you know, from the start to the finish without losing all your lives, blah de blah de blah And um, yeah, it's a fun game. But all the enemies are there, as you can see, and they're all coloured and drawn nicely. They're all pretty much arcade. So whoever actually designed the, the graphics have, have done a really, really good job. So, bugger. Anyway, um, the level design is also uh, pretty much to the letter as well, which is nice to see. Um, these pigs on balloons. I love the fact you can hang off this balloon. Now, here's your first boss. I'm probably not going to get very far with this one. Um, but, uh, yeah, so the balloon, you probably want to get that steel balloon that we saw earlier on because I think you can hide underneath that and it takes all those frosty snowflakes away. Darn those really, really tough snowflakes that it just threw out. Anyway, that's my first game over. Hey, so let's put our initials in as TGA, the game's arcade. So there we are. Uh, but absolutely love this game. And control system's very nice as well. So we got left and right. And then we got jump and fire. And that's it. There's, and um, you know, suppose you've got down as well when you're in water. But that's about it. And the controls are responsive. They work well, which is good. No input lag, which is even better. Um, oh, look at the help me on the back there. That's, that's heartbreaking. Anyway. 
So uh, we're going to see if that disappears. I don't want the bomb this time round. I, I want a different... I want to see if we can fire arrows. Go away. There we go. Um, see if we uh, see if that warp is in, but maybe it didn't work with bombs. I don't know. I don't know. Let's have a look. But yes, it's not there, is it? No. So we continue. It's not there. Look. Anyway, music and sound. Music and sound is there. I mean, it's all there. The the, the classic theme tune of the New Zealand story is kind of what a lot of people remember, actually. Um, and apart from Tiki being absolutely adorable, um, obviously the, the you know the, the, the Kiwi himself and the music score. Ask anyone what their sort of top ten uh, music from games gets stuck in your head. This is probably one of them. Bubble Bobble being a close second or close first. Actually. I don't even know. I mean, Bubble Bobble and New Zealand Story for theme tunes are pretty close. Yeah. Um, that guy's trying to drop bombs on me, man. That's that's not very nice. So I can't I can't get out of here, can I? Anyway, a frog jumping around. Anyway, um, yes. Control system nice, sound nice. The graphics are superb. Love it. Um, and this was released on a multitude of systems as well. Spectrum, Amstrad, Commodore 64, Sega Master System, Nintendo NES, um, Amiga, obviously, because that's what we're looking at now, Mega Drive. Oh, God, I think I, I don't think there was a system that it wasn't released on back in the day. So if you were lucky enough to have a copy of this game, then more power to you, because this is a lovely game. Now, I have to ask, how many of you had this game? How many of you played it in the arcades? And where? I remember playing this at Western Supermare uh, when they when they actually had an arcade at the end of the pier. Yes, that's back. That's going back in my youth quite a bit. Um, and uh, Outrun, Outrun was another one I saw. It was like 10p ago. 10p. These days it's more like a pound. What's this? Inflation is is it's outrageous. Um, but there we go. So playability, it's absolutely on the money. It's an arcade game. You would have gone to the arcades. Pumped in numerous 10 P's to have a go at this, and you would have enjoyed it, I hope, because it's just there's not what is there not to enjoy about this game. Um, love the fact that bombs don't actually blow up my own balloon there, but hey, never mind. Um, so yeah, the sound effects are all there. You've got all the bomb blasts. You've got all of the sort of the zappy stuff when you get your because uh, you can you can pick up a, a ray gun, which is great, and um, all that all that sort of stuff. So it's all good. Um, you can even spray water out your mouth. Look like that. Yes. Like, almost as if it was on command. There you go. So you do have an oxygen meter in the bottom right-hand corner. Other than that, there isn't really a UI to speak of either. Uh, so playability, absolutely. Absolutely there. And you're going to come back to it. Of course you are. The replay value is also there because trying to complete this game... Well, it, I've never completed it, just to give you a heads up. It's one of those games that I've never finished. Um, but if you finish, if you finish said bubble, bubble then, that's because we were talking about it earlier. Um, if you finish New Zealand Story, let me know. I do believe the walrus is the last boss. I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Oh, well, they can't hit me. Ha 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 Screw you, bats. Anyway, um, yes. Uh, if, you, if you've completed this game, let me know. And tell me what format you've played it on as well. Could be arcade, could be one of the home systems. Maybe whichever way, I would love to hear from you. And tell me what you enjoyed about the game the most, and if there was anything you disliked about it, let me know again. Because again, I'm losing, I'm losing oxygen. There we go. Um, so I can spray water out my mouth, and my cat just meowed at me as if like showing disapproval that I'm not fussing her. Anyway, um, so yes, replay value, and do you know what age rating? Pretty much any, because it's. It's a fun game, and as I, as you know, I, you know, I played this when I was a kid. So at the end of the day, you know, let them loose on it. It's not exactly difficult. Grab a joystick, couple of buttons, done. Instantly pick up and playable. I keep it's because I'm talking and playing at the same time. I'm not concentrating 100. percent There you go. Let's see. Have we got another high score? We have. We have. We're third place this time. Um, second and third place. That's not too bad. My first run, really, is it? But anyway, um, yeah. Really enjoyed this game. It's it is good fun. Uh, nothing overly tough about it. It's just all about sort of timing and making sure that you don't get hit by things. Yes. <laughs> so there you go. But I hope you've enjoyed the review. I've enjoyed playing this game today for you, and uh, I will be back very very soon actually with another game. Uh, it was a bit lax last week because I had a family uh, funeral to attend on Friday, so the sort of mood wouldn't have been great. Uh, but I'm back this week, and uh, hopefully the mood will continue to be rather positive. So there you go. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. I'll be back very soon with something else to look at. And uh, until then, my friends, I bid you a very, very happy Monday and uh, farewell.
Well, goodbye for now, as it were. Until then, I'll leave you with a few more minutes of footage, and I will see you again very, very soon. Keep it retro. Hello.